Very excited to show you guys the servo test. That's right. You may have contacted customer service. You may have heard of this trick over the years. It's something that I learned a long time ago and I've been using as a, I don't know, tool of the trade trick of my RC guru nerdness for a long time. And it's real simple. Um, it's moving some wires around in your receiver to where they're not supposed to be to make sure that your throttle channel works. We've had folks have brand new speed control, brand new whatever go in and it doesn't work. And sometimes it can be related to some output problems from the radio. Buttons get bumped. A lot of times the brakes get turned down on the radio on accident, and that will make a calibration not, you know, complete and brakes not work. So this is a real quick and easy way to show you how to check all that stuff, what we call the servo test. And just to make sure we know what's going on, uh, radio's on, speed control, turn it on, everything. This is, uh, steering works, uh, throttle works, forward and reverse. And um, the main thing that we're doing here is moving the speed control from the normal number two throttle channel. If you don't have the, the mark steering, throttle, whatever, uh, one is always steering, two is always throttle, three is the uh, first auxiliary, and so on and so forth. So for this situation, you can take the speed control out of the receiver, super easy to do, as you can see. Plug it into, this is the bind slot down here on this receiver or the battery slot works if it's a non-operational channel. And that that still works. And then of course, the speed control starts blinking because that channel doesn't do anything. So like if I were trying to calibrate it, nothing would happen. And then I can take the servo and I'll show you guys what's going on there. Unplug that from here, again, super easy. And I'm gonna move the steering servo. This is still the servo here. Throttle's plugged into that one, or the speed control's plugged into the bind slot. And then put this into the throttle channel. Now, another one that we get all the time, well, the wires are backwards. No, the black wires are always usually going to the outside edge, and that stuff's marked on there. So now, servo, the steering doesn't make the servo work because it's not plugged into the steering channel, but the throttle does. So I can make sure that throttle moves the servo both ways completely. And a lot of times, if you run into a calibration problem, when you do this test, you'll move the throttle, and it either won't move, move it'll shift over to one side real bad, or uh, it won't move one direction. Like, you'll push the brakes and it won't move. And that can be related to settings and things like that in your radio. If it's you know doesn't move at all, that can be related to a dead channel, um, or it can be related to the travels being turned way, way down. So that's the servo test, real easy to do. And you can use that to take a servo and kind of put it through all the channels and see what they do center them up and stuff like that with a loose servo in the air instead of having one you know, installed type of thing. Um, this also works with the steering servo that's in there if everything's A-OK, -okay, but you do have to be careful that when you move the throttle, the travel is going to be different than your steering. So if you got all that stuff set, you know, you, you don't want to mess up your servo stuff. So be careful. Just move it a little bit in the beginning before you start hammering on the, the adjustments. This is a, a common situation that you will try to calibrate the speed control and it doesn't want to work. Let, let's... This is gonna not be exactly the same as a dead throttle channel because I sabotaged this radio and I made it not work through some setting adjustments. So it may set the neutral, find out, hold on. So everything's connected like it's supposed to be. Speed control's in number two, the throttle channel. Steering's in number one, the steering channel. Uh, calibrate, starts with the button down, tap that. Wants to set the neutral first, so touch nothing, tap the button. You'll do the first one, but now, nothing. Nothing, I got, I can't get it to, to calibrate or do anything. And why is that happening? We're gonna do the servo test and find out why. Turn this off. Uh, you don't even have to turn it off in most situations. You can just unplug this, move it over to the bind slot. On this receiver, uh, it's way down here. You wanna use the bind slot or the battery slot so long as it's an inactive channel, of course. And then I'm gonna take my servo out of number one, uh, the steering, and put it into number two, the throttle, and uh, we're gonna turn it on. So now this, the motor won't run because it's not plugged into a working channel and the steering doesn't work that, but does it work this? No, it doesn't. It also doesn't work this. So we want to make sure that everything is still okay. So we take that same servo, plug it right back into the steering channel and everything goes back to working. So if the channel won't operate a servo like it does right now, like knocks back in number two, the throttle, it also will not operate a speed control. So that's kind of the basics of the servo test. Now I sabotage this radio by turning the travels down to zero on the throttle. I don't know the, if you can see that, but I, I went in here and I did that ahead of time so that we could give an example of what happens with this calibration not having any travel. And similar stuff will happen with a dead channel as well. So there you go, a real quick and easy. So servo test, if you have any questions, please drop us an email. 
North America at HobbyWing.com. Thanks a lot.